It is unfortunate that I must first make these statements, but it is a pressing matter that needs to be addressed. Is Anonymous a hate and cyber-terrorist or an activist for freedom and truth? No. Yes. Anonymous beginnings make it difficult to understand the entity. Anonymous is simply ideas without origin. May it be a phrase, a fad, a proverb. The concept of anonymous has always existed. The anonymous that we know now, the one currently aligned against the Church of Scientology, which crimes and dangers are well documented, so I will not cover them here. Anonymous started as an image board in Japan nearly a decade ago. A place where there were no rules, no topic, no identity, images and text with no authorship. The only control was whether a post was enjoyed or simply deleted from lack of interest. The individual isn't measured. Slowly, through repetition and this unique natural selection, popular ideas duplicated and developed into memes. These memes would be incorporated into new ideas, evolution of thought. Eventually another image board was built in the likeness for the English-speaking world. Quickly it grew in scope and influence, a public club with secret members, an ecosystem of thought. The diversity of anonymous is as vast as the human condition, thus as the way of the universe, the good with the bad, the left the right. A place where the age of a post is measured in seconds, change is instant, and it is total. Anonymous is the sum of its members divided infinitely. When Anonymous was young, it was immature and childlike, while the majority was simply for entertainment and creativity. The darker and more sinister aspects slowly pooled in the shadows. Soon this poison spread, and Anonymous found itself with a choice. Either continue to let the natural chaos, or to go against the very purpose of Anonymous. Those who controlled the medium, the servers, made the fateful decision to purge these cruel and disgusting segments. A great war waged for what is nearly an eternity in the time of the Internet. This underbelly broke off and formed their own image boards, where they could do as they wished outside the original. The majority of these splinters were of that same dark and perverse world. Over time, these niches died or consolidated. They are the ones who have done such harm. They are racist because it is offensive. They are sexually perverse because it is outlawed. They are cruel because they can. Yet we cannot disown these aspects of Anonymous as much as we can disown the human race. They are nearly everything the majority stand against and can only survive in isolation. Except they are the ones who dare. They are the ones who dare to stand against the racist radio. They are the ones who may be out of guilt brought a pedophile to justice. They are the ones who dare to think freely without regard for others. And they may have started the meme that has grown so large. For all their crimes, they may have just started this whole thing. But with Anonymous, there is no authorship. Their claim is no more valid than the individual's claim to existence. They are simply a spark, but not the fire. Now, the sum of Anonymous has changed even more. Every day, the immaturity and disgust is diluted by the intelligent and the educated, those who are motivated to take up the cause. Anonymous has grown out of the image boards, out of the internet, and into the world we know, the world in which we live. We have grown, and are growing. Every mistake, we learn. Every failure, we regenerate. Every success, we build on. There is no control. No leadership, only influence. The influence of thought. And now it is time that I go, but I will be seeing you on the other side.